This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shandrea Thomas. A distracted driving simulator made its way to Presidio School today. The Arrive Alive truck visits cities all around the country to push awareness of the dangers and consequences of impaired driving. Students had the chance to choose from scenarios like driving while texting or driving drunk. And this year, there was a new option to choose from. Now the students can simulate driving while under the influence of marijuana. We're the only uh, marijuana simulator in the whole country. Marijuana is being legalized all over the country, but it still doesn't mean that you can drive under any influence. So I did it twice, and the first time I did pretty well. Not that you can do well, but I didn't really crash and I finished the simulation. But the second time I didn't do so well, and I was surprised of how delayed my reactions were. And according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, drivers under 20 years old have the highest rate of distraction-related crashes. Let's check in with Kyler Dix for a look at that weekend forecast, Kyler. Yes, we are getting closer to the weekend. Our Friday, it's going to be a little bit breezy, but still warm, 82 degrees. And we're going to take a mixture of clouds and sunshine right through your Friday and in through Veterans Day weekend. And then even on Veterans Day, we might have a slight chance there of a couple of sprinkles. Still warm, though, with a high of 81 degrees. Low pressure moves off to the east on Tuesday. That'll make for some gusty winds on Tuesday, and that'll cool us down, too. Back into the mid to upper 70s by the middle of next week. Overnight lows through the weekend will maintain in the mid-50s. All right, thank you, Kyler. For more news and weather updates, head to our website, kgun9.com, and follow us on social media.